I have two children and with my six-year-old daughter, I would say that uh, kind of a combination of active listening and who owns the problem and helping her own the problem and solve her problems has been huge. And overall, the course has been very good for us. So if so I look at who owns the problem, um, that's the very first thing we do in our lesson one is to identify who is responsible for the problems that happen in your household and how particularly you react to certain situations. The reality is that we own most of the problems in the household and that's purely through our reaction and our line of acceptance which moves up and down depending on who the child is, depending on where the behaviour occurs, but most importantly what is going on inside of us. So is it my problem? Is it specifically the child's problem or is it both of our problems? And there are a different set of skills that we have to put into place for each of those. So if it's the child owns the problem, it's very important that we actively listen and we work out what is the bottom of their cone and determine what is going on in their world for that behaviour to be happening. If it's our problem, what's happening with us, what's going on in our world that it's causing us stress, but is it both of our problems? Is there a collision of values, which is often the case, where we don't agree on certain things and we want our children to behave in a certain way. So it's identifying clearly who owns that problem. So if, we, if the child owns the problem, we actively listen it. If the parent owns the problem, we send a very clear I message. Now an I message is stating what your feeling is, stating clearly what the behaviour is, but most importantly is working out what the tangible effect is on you. Does it cost you money? Does it cost you time? Does it cost you energy? Or does it stop you from doing something that you need to do? When it's a both owns the problem, we've got usually a collision of values and so therefore we have to put into place a values I message. And that is, again, what the feelings are on your behalf, what the behaviour is, but now what impact is that scenario going to have on your child? So we address each problem quite differently. Mm -hmm.